Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the Italeri or Italeri Panzer IV 170 second scale build. I'm feeling better now and decided I wanted to do some kind of model. So, uh, yeah, we're going to just do a quick build of this uh, Panzer IV. They give you two options. You can use either the short barrel or the long barrel. Two different versions. One's the F2 version and one is the F1 version. And I am going to do the F2 version. So, without any hesitation, I'm going to go ahead and clip that little runner off there. We'll get to sanding. This will be a nice, quick little build. We got the hull of the tank. We have the tracks and the wheels. That one's already off, evidently. Let's go ahead and get this side. Maybe I didn't get that one. I'll have to see. I might have went in between the, the deals there. Okay, I'm get these off. My eyes are kind of having trouble focusing. Maybe I got that light too, too bright. Oh, I did miss the middle one. I wondered. There we go. Got the tracks off and the hull ready to go. Let's get the upper hull. Cut off the screw here. There's our upper hull. And then the rear of the tank. Right here. I don't really like to cut it like that if I can't. I don't have to. And the front of the tank. We better, we better get you off there too. There we go. Got those pieces. And we have an upper part of the turret and the main turret. So we'll start with this. Put that off to the side here. I'll just kind of clean these up with the, the little file here. These are going, if you haven't seen previous videos, are going to go to the Battle for the Reichstag diorama. Feels good to work on a model again. It's... Hey, uh... Anybody that's watched the M3 Lee decal video will notice I wasn't feeling that great and I sounded terrible and was snorkeling through half the video, so I thought, eh, instead of... People don't want to hear that, I'm sure. Decided to take a couple days off. But it feels weird not having worked on anything for really a couple days. I 
We already did that. Excellent. So those are all sanded. If I remember right. Oh, that ain't so bad. It was kind of... I don't know that I really need to get too much detailed cutting on that because it's going to be glued down to the diorama and these are so so small you don't really see them that one's a little crazy though let's need to tame that a little bit there all right now let's do some assembly let's get the some of the extra thin cement out and what we need to do oh we're missing the little turret uh, stopper piece so we can do some rotating off there And this is a kit, they had a, what did they have for a Panzer? Oh, they didn't have any German tanks in the kit. They just had the uh, T-3485 in the Reichstag kit, so I had to, uh, had to make sure that I... Had some German tanks in there. And some are going to be all destroyed and burn up, and others are going to be. Um, still in the battle. Top of the turret. So, since we're working on the turret, we might as well get our uh, cannon going. Have to remember how that goes. there and take this off let's not take too much out of here like that and there should be a little round piece for the back why am i not seeing it number oh 15 it's right here right in front of my face of course One way to hide from me is hide right in front of me. <laughs> and more than likely won't see you. Throw that in the trash. So we aren't, aren't going to need that. And then do a little more sanding.
that'll go inside the turret. I don't think that's supposed to have that big chunk in there, is it? No. That's way better. Okay. So taking the turret, this goes in this little groove here. Oh. Uh-oh. Let's get the get the tweezers out, see if we can make parts fly. I did that before. So what I'm gonna do is put this through, make sure the machine gun's in the right position. Better sand that down, huh? Okay, the little gun's supposed to be on the right side of the tank. So that would make it on this side. So we'll take the gun here, and it's got a little key right here. Focus. Focus. Not gonna. Anyway, it's right there. <laughs> All right. That goes keyed into right there. We're gonna put that in there, like so. And I'm going to pull that out a bit. Throw a little glue down on it, because that's all gonna be on the outside. And then push that in. Let me give it a little more. There we go. All the way around it. We want our barrel to be in there. Nice. So we got that and we want it on the right side. So I need to turn it this way. Try to stick it through the hole there. Into that part. Oh no. Hold on. Didn't let it set enough, evidently. Let's flip this around, maybe. Maybe that's the deal. Ooh, being tricky. There we go, and let's do one of these. Hold it with my finger. Machine gun to the right. Oh, hey now. This is where I wish I had my pin vise. Just gonna open this hole up a little bit on both sides. There we are. That should make things a little simpler. Line it up. Like that. Okay, again. Gun to the right. There. 
There we go. Snap it into place. There we go. We want it tight so that we can either aim it up, aim it straight. Get a little bit of elevation there. And then what we're going to do is take the we have thin set and go right in the back here so that it can come off. And that's the turret. Excellent. We'll just put that over to the side there and let that cure for a bit. And then we'll get back to the... Get the hole in the right position. Let's go ahead and get our wheels. And the sprocket goes to the front. It's nice. They got it... The pin here, the hole here, and then they got a pin in the back and the hole here. So you can't really mess it up. Nice and simple. And are we in? I think so. Make sure the tracks are straight. And I'm going to go ahead and follow it up with some glue on each of these points here. Like that. Just for good measure, let's put some on each of these too. Like so. We have one track on. I'm going to go ahead and put the model down like that. We'll just put these over here. And then same thing on this side. Sprocket to the front, pin there, hole there, hole there, pin there, and then a bunch of pins, bunch of stuff there. I'm just going to throw some in this mess there. And let's put it on there. Sure, they're straight as they can be. And our tank's already got tracks on it. Look at that. Then again, a little glue on each point isn't going to hurt it at all. Awesome. So now we got to put our hull on. Let's go ahead and do that. And then I think we'll call that a uh, video and we'll just make a part two. That way the video isn't terribly long. I'm going to, these holes are kind of. Kind of closed up, so we're going to open that up. Like so. And let's go ahead and... There's a little bit of flash there. Got that one.
Not a whole lot of flash for a tiny kit like this. All right, this is the front of our tank. And flip it over here. This is the front of our tank. It should go, let's do a test fit. It's always good to dry fit. Yeah. Oops. I lift them up at the same time or else it binds. Let's go ahead and get some glue on that. Oh wait. Hold the foam. We need to put the back on first. So I think we'll call this a video and then we'll continue on and finish it up. I'd like to thank everyone for watching and we'll see you guys next time.